greetings! Today I'm installing the LED sequential indicator units from AutoBeam. Alright, so what you'll see holding these side by side is that the AutoBeam unit is a direct replacement for the stock housing. It's also smoked, so it's sort of like darker versus the whiteness that we have in the stock housing, which will give a sort of nice which will give a nice aggressive look and also the fact that it is a direct replacement you can see the design is exactly the same so it'll look very OEM like it came from the factory which is very appealing to a lot of people so it's going to look absolutely fantastic but of course before we get this in we need to get this out all right so i'm going to get at this by taking off the cap and to get the cap off we need to release a couple of clips which are quite hard to see not really in focus but you can kind of see those blue things in underneath behind the glass so what I've done is I've angled the glass just sort of pointing out at the top as much as possible and that will give us the best access in at those little blue clips there's one on the left and one on the right so the idea is I'm going to use this small implement to push down on the black part of the clip that is underneath the cap then I'm going to use this pry tool just the flat front end it's kind of blunt to sort of pry away at the top just right in this groove here just to try and release those two little clips and then that should allow us to remove the cap entirely that's one And two. All right, now that we have our two clips loosened, what we can do is we just grab a hold of the cat and just bring it back and then out. Nice and easy. Okay, now we are ready to take the stock housing out. So what we want to do is we want to basically pry this until a clip, which is right here, pops out. So. If you, it's hard to perhaps see, but in here, it's quite tight up at this section, but at this section, there is a little bit of a gap. So what we do is we put our pry tool in in this middle bit and then just shimmy it along. And then once we get to this tighter edge, it should pop that clip out. Then there's a little tab at this side. So once we're loose, we just take it towards the front of the car so that we don't break that little tab off. And then that will be our housing released. So that's the clip released, and then just shimmy it. And our tab comes out, and that's the housing released. So now we can just grab this rubber bit, hold the housing, give it a wiggle, and our existing bulb should come right out. There we go. So now we can get rid of our stock housing. At this point we can remove the bulb that we have in here as well. As you can see I have an auto beam replacement unit which is a great upgrade on its own but of course the new sequentials are going to be awesome. So again we grab this rubber bit, we hold the bulb, we give it a little wiggle and it comes right out. Alright now I've got the new auto beam unit so we need to put that inside our rubber connector and just make sure our connectors are lined up, the two metal bits. That should just slide right in there. So before I actually put it in, I'm just going to double check that we have it in the right way by just going and turning the indicator on. If it comes on, then we've got it in the right way. If not, then we just switch the connector around so that we have the wires connecting the right way around. All right, now we've confirmed that it works. We just push our wiring back up in there. Then we first line up our tab on the outside, like that. Line up our clip on the other side and give it a little push and it should clip in. Nice reassuring click. So now all we gotta do is put our cap back on. Essentially the idea is we wanna start it in at the inner edge and then kind of 
get it sort of around so that the two clips at the bottom here go into the holes around here. And then once we have that in place, we should be able to go down and a little bit forward to get the two top clips to go back in those first clips that we loosened earlier. Uh, and that's kind of the knack to it. It's a bit tricky, uh, but just stick with it, have some patience and it should drop in eventually. Right, that is the inner clip, this clip and this clip in. Then it's just the two clips at the top. So we just push down and a little bit forward and it should just click right into place. All right, now all we gotta do is repeat the exact same process on the other side. As you'll have just seen, we just got this one in and tested it, it was working. I think it's worth noting that in this bit right here in our connection, the little printed circuit board that goes up into our rubber bit, you don't want to push that too far in, otherwise the contacts won't be touching and it just won't eliminate. So you need to just put that in just the right amount, but it's hard to really see here. So you can just see the metal contacts are touching the metal bits of the PCB. Um, if you push it too far in, then the metal contacts will be touching the green bit and it won't be making a proper connection. So just make sure that you don't have it pushed in too far. If it doesn't eliminate and you've tried switching it around the other way and it still doesn't eliminate, that's probably what your problem is. You probably pushed it in a bit too far. So that's just one little thing to note. Well, there we go, that is installation complete of the new sequential indicator units from AutoBeam. AutoBeam have put in the work to make sure that the sweep is right, the color is just right, and the brightness is just right. And of course, with AutoBeam, you get the awesome five year warranty which you just cannot get anywhere else. If you would like to get your hands on a set of these sequential indicator units from AutoBeam, you have two options. Number one, you can hit the link in the description box below, jump over to AutoBeam and just buy a set, or we're gonna run a little competition where you could win a set. So all you need to do to log your entry to the competition is jump down to the comment section, put in a comment saying just how much you would like to win a set, and that will be your entry recorded. Then in a couple of weeks, I'll come back, I'll do a follow-up video, and I will pick someone at random to win a set. We'll get your details and we'll get you hooked up. So I hope you love that little competition. I hope you love the sequential indicator units from AutoBeam as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more content to come very, very soon. Thank you once again. Goodbye.